Hey guys, this is Pastor Cool, Ace number one, Pastor because I'm single, cool because I am. Number two, single YouTuber in the Philippines. This video, we're going to talk about where to stay in the Philippines. Philippines hotels. Let's get into this, where to stay. Manila. Peninsula. Now I've stayed in Manila a few times. I've stayed at Duck Inn and Slouch Hat Hotel. They're near Rizal Park and LA Cafe. This is a really nice hotel right there in Manila Peninsula. Makati, we're getting in the financial district. Am Hotel is really nice. It's new. So these two hotels, they're going to be five star, nice, and new. I'm here in Angeles City. I live here full time. Everybody talks about ABC Hotel. That's a really nice hotel. There's also Fields Plaza Hotel. Queens is really nice near the Entertainment District. Also Scorebirds. Pacific Breeze Hotel. I've stayed at Devera up on Fields Avenue. But Queens is near the Walking Street area. Angelic, if you want to get into Airbnb, Angelic is in the Candy Tower neighborhood. They have the T-Bag Sports Bar downstairs in the lobby. They also have a rooftop bar, restaurant, swimming pool. Angelic. Subic. Central Park Reef. It's probably one of the nicer tower hotels in the Barrio Barreto area. They're going to have the rooftop, bar, restaurant, swimming pool. They have, you're going to get the sunset views and things like that. Central Park Reef is really nice. I've also stayed at some of the beach resort hotels, Arizona, Dakotas, Lagoon, things like that. There's gonna be floating bars, which are pretty cool. So Subic Bay, Central Park, Cebu, Seta, Ayala, I've been to Cebu a few times. I've stayed in the Mactan, Newtown area. Lapu Lapu, Cordoba. But in Cebu, right in the action, Seta, Ayala. They have a really nice shopping mall there. Barakai, Coast, Dive Gurus. I've been to Baraka one time. I stayed at the Henna Resort. They have the breakfast, all you can eat buffets, lunch buffets, things like that. Barakai, Coast and Dive Gurus. Dumaguete, Bricks. Bricks is probably the nicest hotel. You're right there in the action. It's close to the water, the boulevard. I recommend Bricks. When in doubt, Choose the more expensive hotel, close to the action, guys. A lot of people think they're getting a view, a good deal, if they choose a $14, $16, $18 a night hotel. You're going to get no TV, no aircon, no fan. You're going to get a hard bed, a toilet, with maybe a bucket of water and a sprayer to take a half bath. So you kind of get what you pay for. <laughs> so when in doubt, just, just front the money and spoil yourself and have a good time. With that, let's get into some hotel advice. Number one, hire a hotel driver in advance for airport pickup. You guys are tired of traveling, flying, jet lag. You just want to quickly get to your hotel hit the shower, hit the bed, relax, get a hotel with a driver and it'll get you right there 
a lot faster. Number two, confirm bookings directly with the hotel. You guys, if you go through a third party, booking.com, Ogata, things like that. When you get to the, your hotel lobby and check in at the receptionist, since there's a third party involved, they could actually book it up or the, the two aren't linking up. So the communication isn't going to be there and you're going to think that you have a room and you don't. And it's just easier to book directly with the hotel. So just be smart on that end. Number three, don't stay in cheap hotels. You get what you pay for. A lot of times you think that you're getting a good deal and you find out the hotel is five miles down the road and you're thinking, oh, five miles, that's close. I'll be fine. It's all good. Then you check in your hotel. You realize there's no transportation to get you to the restaurants, the bars, the action, the nightlife, shopping. There's no transportation. So you guys got to be smart. Stay in a hotel that's close to the action. Number four, don't stay far from city centers. You want to stay where the action is and you don't want to fall into that trap of there's a reason why hotels have such a great deal and you're going to find out the hard way guys. <laughs> Number five, don't damage stuff in the hotel. Here in the Philippines, they'll actually send staff up to your room when you check out to double check everything. And they're not just counting inventory. They're actually looking for stuff that is damaged. And believe it or not, I fall into this trap. They come back downstairs and they say, sorry, sir, we found something wrong. We're going to charge you 300 pesos to fix it. We're not going to let you leave until you do. And, you know, so just make sure your room is good to go. Number six, use the room safe. The vault. You guys, if you have a passport and some important stuff, you don't want to hit the town and go out with things like that in your pocket. You want to safe keep it. Try and get a hotel with a room safe. You're just going to be better off and save yourself a lot of headache. Number seven, don't book long stays until you've tested it out. A lot of you guys are back in your home country. You're booking through a third party or you're booking for two, three weeks at a time, one month at a time. You've never been here. You've never stayed at that hotel, but you think you're getting a good deal. So you go ahead and book up for a long period. You do not want to do that. Book it for two or three days. Check it out. There could be construction going on. There could be no transportation. There could be a lot of things going on and you're not going to know until you lay down in your bed and figure it out. And you'll probably want to check out and find a new hotel. So be smart and test it out. There you go, guys. Philippine hotels. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.